How is he even standing? Bo has holes all over his body. What's going on guys, it's your boy Klaus Bessinobi and welcome back to a brand new reaction today. We are reacting to Demon Slayer Season 3 Episode 6, I believe. Um, It's getting wild, bro. Literally, in the last episode, Tanjiro ended up beheading all of the... um. I don't even know. I think it's upper 4 or upper 5 demons. Um, Technically, it's just one of them, but he just splits into like 4 different versions of himself. And he ended up using Himo... Kami Kagura to behead all of them. Well, technically only three. And then, um, oh boy, ended up beheading the other one. Now, the question is, did they need to be beheaded like the, um, like the previous demon that we fought in like the, uh, entertainment district where they had to be beheaded simultaneously? Simultaneously? Samuel Tain. At the same time, bruh. Like, is that what needs to happen? I highly doubt it. I feel like this is way too easy of a defeat um, for them. That, like, it, it doesn't make sense. Like, yes, he used a special move and he did today had the whole epic moment with the sword and him being the, the reincarnation of the, 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 the past Hashua that be, uh, scared Muzan into hiding and stuff like that. Like, you, like it was an epic moment you get what i'm saying but it's like we're only on episode six bro or five i think this is episode six though what could possibly like how could it be over already right there's still one demon left like that's that's not a mistake right but we got two hashira then we got tanjiro we got nezuko and we got the other dude and there's only one demon left be for real like i'm not i'm not buying it bro i'm not buying it this demon isn't finished at all it's not even close i don't think it's somehow some way that's not going to be how they have to die maybe you have to slice all four tongues simultaneously because we we know that um the tongues is, is one of their weak spots and it takes longer for them to rejuvenate um we we figured out that the head does nothing for them so um i'm fairly assuming that you need to slice all four tongues at the same time if anything that is probably gonna have to be the way to kill them um yeah so yeah and then we also learned that the g is the, i'm just like the, like i said in the previous episodes i'm gonna just call him g g is also some kind of demon he's just like nezuko in a way but it's he seems to be able to move around freely um and control his urges uh unlike nezuko he's he's more efficient at it than nezuko is um which is very interesting to see uh why did he unleash his demon side at the end of the uh at the end of the battle i have no idea is he gonna attack tanjiro most likely uh also that spell thing he was chanting i'm fairly certain that that spell thing was a way for him to kind of like compose himself and keep himself from turning and then he kind of like gave up after his last beating that he got you know it was just too much from the handle and he just ended up changing also i have a theory that he and the um mist hashira are brothers in a sense some somehow some way somebody is the brother either it's him or it's the um the person that made the mist hashira's sword blade that's his brother right because he took the we all know he took this the blade that was in the barn that was supposed to be given to the mist hashira if i'm not mistaken or the the swordsmith made two different kinds of blades and 
the one that he took was just one of the ones that his brother made you know because it, it seems kind of small for uh, um for the one that the hostel would wield so i'm assuming that it's just a short blade that he ended up taking whatever anyway uh yeah so that's that's basically all right now we're kind of picking it at uh as you can see on the screen we're kind of picking up right where um it seems like Tanjiro beheaded all three of them and then g was like holding the the head of the fourth one so i'm interested to see where this goes like i said i don't believe this is finished by any means and there's still a lot more to go and i can't wait to see exactly what steps are taken to defeat these demons with that being said, make sure to subscribe to my Patreon down below. You subscribing to my Patreon allows you to watch every single reaction completely unedited. Also, you subscribing allows you to help me to produce better content for you guys. With that being said, let's get into the reaction. Right to the demon fan, bro. Oh, he's forming at the mouth and everything, bro. Please do not attack Tondro. He will body you, bro. At least I'm assuming. Aren't you going to become a Hashira? Dang, that whole field is destroyed. Dang, he seems like he's resisting I knew it oh they can still regenerate okay so you figure them out so how do you go about defeating him though it doesn't seem he's figured that part out yet unless he did and he just hasn't said anything about it oh she ugly a fifth demon. ごたいめの鬼の首がきっと上限を倒すんだわ。俺だ。いやいや。ほっ、ベースに、ウェルヒビーでフェディン。ブロ。3人で頑張ろう。ごたいめの鬼の首。ナルトはこれまた yeah, you can't seem violent intent from Tondro, bro. He just doesn't get off that energy. Is the old creepy one the, the fifth one? I'm just assuming, like, we know he split the, the old one already split up, but if there's a fifth one, who could, who, which other one could it be? Oh, his blade is still red. He still has yet to use the pe the pebble scent thing to dodge. I knew it. He just made the most sense for him to be it. But he split off so fast that it it, it seemed like the other two are the only ones that like it, it doesn't make sense. I'm gonna be honest, it doesn't make sense. Oh my gosh. There's no way he's gonna trade trade that blade in for the one that's being repaired. Like that blade is literally embedded with his sister's blood right now. Yeah, bro. Watch your back. Ooh. No, oh, here go baby hands. This boy really has a one piece laugh. That must be so annoying. How do you get out of that? But I don't feel like that vase that he's holding is the only way to break it. Dang, did he imp he impelled her into the tree? Dang. Bo said, do not touch my sister. So his Himo Kamen Kagura is even like... Is now just embedded into that sword. I mean, not not Hino Kamikaze, but like it's it's like her demon art along with his Hino Kamikaze is like embedded into that sword now. I think you worry about the wrong ones. Shouldn't you be like focused on the, the old one, the fifth one, technically the first one? Another spell. I really want to know his backstory, bro. How did he become a demon? Dang, he's giving her directions while getting beat up. Down below, bro. 
What the? It's crazy that Tanjiro can sense his location like that. Ooh. What? Shoot his head off. Dang. So is he like secretly strong? Was just a coward? Oh wait, so he can die? Oh, this is what? Like, what are you, bro? Oh, so never mind. That wasn't his brother. Oh man, give me just just give me a whole episode about this man's backstory. Like, I need that OG anime backstory episode at this point. Or oh, you can make it short. I ain't gonna complain. Like most mothers do. Dang, seriously, bro? Uh, oh, well, okay then. Maybe was that dang. That man was ripped, I ain't gonna lie. Crazy about what he did, though. Is his brother adopted? Why does his brother just have white hair? How can you be so miserable with your life but produce so many kids and then treat them like crap? That's what I don't understand, bro. So I'm guessing Ginya is gonna get bit by a demon or something and somehow I knock his brother wouldn't be able to behead it. I don't know. Or maybe their mom is a demon and then she bites Ginya. What the? They got some fire eyes, bro. Kotchan,大丈夫かな？今までこんな遅くなることなかったのに、もう夜が明けちゃうよ。疲れてるだろ？眠れって起きたら母ちゃんも兄ちゃんも戻ってるよ。That is the worst feeling, bro. Oh my gosh. What the? Dang, his brother fast. How did he catch her? Dang, did his little brother just get body in his arms? Oh wow, bro. Dang, he doesn't know it's his mom. And he's gonna see that his brother killed her and then... That's why he was like, I'm sorry for what I said. How did his brother do it, though? Oh, sunlight. Bro, you do not see what's happening to her body, bro? Dang, he called him a murderer, too. もう死ぬというのが分かってしまって狼だと思ったものは鬼になったかあちゃんだったねえ、バオ私を守るために戦って兄ちゃんはどんな気持ちだったろうか最愛の母を手にかけてうちの召されていた時に一緒に守ろう
He said he can't rejuvenate his head. So he should be fine, right? How is he even standing? Bro has holes all over his body. How is he even standing? Bro has holes all over his body. I've never seen anything like that in anime history. Like, what did I just see? Bro look like Swiss cheese. Bro, this little nigga is moving, bro. It ended? How did he just go and end it like that? Bro, I have so many questions. So, first and foremost, Genya, bro. How did he become the way that he is? He's clearly not a full fledged demon because he said he can't rejuvenate his head. And we know that Nezuko can get beat the heck up and she just rejuvenates regularly, right? So, whatever he is is i don't know it's not really making sense they really didn't describe it with the backstory i was hoping they would but they didn't so that's kind of you know still up to be determined um also he can't use breathing techniques so that's another thing that's kind of that's probably why he wasn't able to behead um the upper demon because we know that yeah, it takes a it takes a it takes a bit to up uh behead an upper demon right it's not something you could just do on a whim right so uh that's probably why he wasn't able to do it because he didn't have no breathing technique he was just slicing and his sword ended up breaking right so yeah that's that but one but yeah so anyway it's like you can't he can't use breathing techniques which is like weird like how did he even become a demon slayer like I know he passed the trials and all that. One, how do you find out about the trials? Two, I'm, I'm guessing he did, he found out about everything simply because of his brother being a Hashira. You get what I'm saying? Um, uh, we know why his brother became a Hashira because of his mom. The whole situation probably guided him towards becoming a Hashira. And Genya just wanted to follow in his footsteps simply because they promised to protect their family together. This time the third, and it was just like a. I'm gonna follow you, big bro, wherever you go, whatever you do. You get what I'm saying? So yeah, that's probably where this is all headed. Um, what exactly? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that alone because there's still so many questions about that man and as a character that have not been answered that I want a full episode to answer. You get what I'm saying? Like that's why I wanted a full episode. I didn't want half an episode to answer it. It was it just wasn't enough. So hopefully in the next episode we 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 find out some more about all that and extra stuff. Um Tanjiro, like I said earlier in the episode, I don't really understand how Tanjiro can like how can he sniff the exact location of something? Like not even location but the height and everything. Like he was like down below. That's number one. Number two, how do you even know what Ginya what like it like okay he could have been sniffing Ginya and know where Ginya was but it's like once you know where something is coming from there's not really much you can do like I don't know how to explain it but it's like you know in cartoons where you see the scent trail of something it's not really ever like well I don't know I guess I'm just contradicting myself because I guess if something is on the ground the scent trail will like kind of arc up and, and go to their nose and not just be like a straight force i don't know i guess that's the way it is you know um so there's that thing two i don't understand why we haven't seen tanjiro use the whole rock scent thing because like that's been like one of the biggest parts of this season so far it's like that was something new he's learned and we have yet to see him use that he's just been getting hit this whole time you get what i'm saying so um but the season isn't over the fight isn't over so i'm pretty sure that's gonna come into play sometime some somehow some way we just gotta wait to see when it when it's all gonna happen um but yeah that's really all i got to say um that being said it's been about class with shinobi i'm out peace